Hi, Shallon here with Bible Journaling Ministries Creative Team. And today I want to show you how easy it is to use a stencil drawing inspiration from a Bible journaling kit for Jeremiah 1.8. Grab your acrylic paints, your makeup sponges, maybe a paintbrush, your kit and a stencil if you have one, and let's get started. All right, so let's get started. Let's take a look at this very cute kit for Jeremiah 1.8. And that verse says, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. And that's from the King James Version. So on this first page, we've got um, kind of boho little rainbows, <clears throat> the fun trucks with pumpkins in the back. Um, we've got a buffalo plaid pumpkin. We've got some sunflowers and leaves and pumpkins. We have our tab. We have our words and then some washi tape down here. The second page of this kit, we have our faith decks cards, bows, pumpkins, some crosses, and some more washi tape. On the third page has the larger elements, <clears throat> pumpkins, um, uh, an arrangement, a bigger truck, some crosses, and a couple of different boho rainbows with the pumpkins and bows, and a great big sunflower, as well as larger words. So I also wanted to let you know that this was my inspiration. Um, I'm going to be using a stencil that I made years and years ago with my Cameo. Um, and I actually made this stencil years ago to paint on my wooden fence outside um, as I was decorating that after we had it done. And I was going through my stencils and I came across it. And so I thought, oh my goodness, I am going to use that as my, this as my inspiration. I'm going to use the stencil in this tutorial. I'm also going to be using three different colors of acrylic paints. So I have, this is Americana brand and it is Mississippi Mud, so it's a little darker brown. This is Americana Multi-Surface Satin Acrylic Paint in Muted Gold and Americana Mushroom. And I pulled all of the, the colors from this big sunflower and that's where I got the three colors that I'm going to be using. <clears throat> I'm also going to be using just some makeup sponges that I got at Walmart in a big pack. Um, so I'm going to be using those as well. Now I am using my um, Artisan NIV um, Journal the Word Bible by Zondervan. And I already have my page ready to go with my stencil. Now I will say that I've already washied under the stencil my verse Jeremiah 1 8 and um, again I, I made this stencil myself. I like to make my stencils using my Cameo. I do have a laminating machine and so I just use the laminating sheets. I run them through the laminator then it gives me the um, a plastic sheet basically and then I just in my silhouette program um, whenever I import an image or anything like that I just import it into my workspace I trace it with um, with the program and then I send the sheet of laminating sheet that is together because I've sent it through my laminator um, I put it in my cameo and let it cut and so I make all kinds of different stencils my favorite way to make stencils is to use um, all of the resources 
through Bible journaling ministries, the printables, um, not necessarily the kits, but um, Tracy has so many options, especially um, in faith inspirations. There's a whole lot of um, options that I use to create stencils, and then I have them forever. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with this stencil of this sunflower, and it's going to be my main image. I'm going to use the makeup sponges and my paint to just blot. Now this stencil, there are a couple of the, um, you see the petals here, but a couple of these are not attached to the center. So I'm going to address that, but when I, um, it's a little large for my Bible and that's okay, um, but I am going to have to keep my hand um, on it while I use my other hand to to paint just to keep it flat um, when it was on my fence of course I could put it flat up against there tape it down and, and I could go to work um, so I'm going to actually start with the center here and um, I wanted to use this mushroom color because if you take a look at and I know it doesn't have the background, but there's the lighter dots in here. <clears throat> so I'm just going to use the mushroom for these lighter dots. And I'm going to start from the inside and work my way out. So I have just my ice cream bucket lid. That is my fancy paint palette. <clears throat> Shake up my paint very very well now you could use a brush a paintbrush and do this but I prefer to use the sponges um, sometimes even q-tips or cotton balls because it just makes it easier with stencils to kind of press and pull up Okay, so I'm just going to put, I only need a little of the mushroom color um, because there's not many of those little dots there. I'm, I, I'm actually considering tracing around this and, and using the darker brown. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to grab a pencil and... I'm going to trace around this just the outside. Just to give me a light guide. And then I'm going to take the Mississippi mud. I'm not going to completely pull my stencil up. And again, I don't need much of that color. But then I am going to use a paintbrush. And I'm just going to raise that up a little bit and I can see around where I did that. So I'm just going to lightly pick up some paint with my paintbrush just to put down some paint here because I want that center of my sunflower for that mushroom color and the spots to come up. And the center of a sunflower is brown. So, if I got out of my circle a little bit, it's okay. Um, because I'll paint over it. I did not just on my page acrylic paints do not bleed through. 
in my Bibles. Um, so I don't gesso with acrylics. Okay, I'm going to clean off my brush there. And I am just going to blow dry this. So that we can move on a little quicker. that dried so now I'm just going to lay my stencil back down and you can see now that the dots when I use this mushroom color and I'm just going to take my my makeup sponge and I'm just going to dab it in the paint just a little bit and then I'm going to go up and down on this area where my little dots are I'm sure you could find a sunflower stencil somewhere. I just I like to use what I have on hand and and if I get out of the line a little bit it's okay because my petals are going to be a different color darker than the mushroom so it will be covered. Okay so let me just flip this up so that we can see there you used to have those little seeds in there okay so now i want to use the muted gold to do the petals now i am going to put a little bit more of this muted gold because i have a larger area with the petals and again remember I've got two places that they're they're not connected to that center piece so I am going to use a different sponge a clean sponge and I'm going to put it on the longer side of the triangle I don't want to get it too thick on there because I'm just going to dab and I'm just up and down dabbing and as it gets lighter or you put fresh paint on your sponge it's going to give it a different look um, which is I like because as you go out on a petal Maybe the sun hits it a little different. And you've got lighter places and darker places. But I am being a little bit careful because I don't want to smear. I want to go up and down because, like I said, the petals, some of my stencil is not connected. So if I go up and down and, and I don't wipe my paint, then I'm able to keep that separation of the petals. I need to move my hand just a little bit to secure this. Yes. And it shouldn't take long for this to dry just because I'm not using a lot of paint. Now I'm just going to roll this up and show you how that turned out. So I don't think I'm going to do the other petals that are coming off of this that are on my stencil here. Um, around the sides I think I'm just going to leave this as it is so I'm going to go ahead and pull up my stencil 
and wipe it off with a baby wipe and give my sunflower just a minute to dry. So super simple. Stencils are so fun to use and there's so many options out there. Um, especially if you can make them on your own. You could, I mean, your imagination is, is your only limit when it comes to that. Um, so, I would just, I love using stencils. And if you're not someone who's good at even hand lettering um, or drawing or anything like that, I mean, you can use stencils for so many different things. And again, Bible Journaling Ministries, and I mean, look through the bonus files, look through the, the alphabet um, printables. I mean, you could turn anything into any kind of picture, just like this sunflower. It was a picture, and I just imported it into my Silhouette Work Studio space and created a stencil. So now I have this beautiful sunflower, and I know that, that this sunflower in the kit, it's got some of the darker brown petals on the outside, but I just really like this. <laughs> um, I could have used where I had the black and, and used the darker brown. However, I just really like this, and I wanted it to stay my, my focal point. You could even come in with, say, uh, the, a, a zebra mild liner. Um, I have a, a mustard color and a brown, and I could come in and freehand some petals if I wanted to behind what I have painted to make it look a little more like the the sticker but this was my inspiration so it didn't have to look just like it this is such an encouraging word from the lord i am with thee to deliver thee we're never alone the lord promises that we're never he's always with us um, and he will deliver us So I'm going to go ahead and pull my, I think I'm going to save these mild liners out um, because that may be one of these two colors I could highlight my verse with. <laughs> so I am just going to pull my washi up. And again, I did not prep my page with gesso. I am not one that preps her pages very often. But I do want to show you, I'm just going to turn the page and show you. Um, again, this is an Artisan NIV Journal, the Word Bible. I got a little heavy on the backside. It's just ghosting. It didn't bleed through. But again, if you've watched any of my tutorials, you know that if it bleeds through on the other side or if it ghosts on the other side, that's just a starting point for me for a different verse and a different entry. So... I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, but I'm going to go ahead and um, let's let's use our tab. And I'm only going to the pieces in the kit that have the blue. That is where that those blue accents will come from. I'm not going to add any blue uh, outside of the the kit. Okay, I need to look at my. All right, set that aside. I'm going to put my tab right here. And if you notice, I do fold my tabs prior to. Okay. Now, I love the boho rainbows. I mean, they are just, they are so cute. So there's there's two, di two of the same, well, no, they're different because this one has pumpkins and this one does not on this first page. And then this one has, is a different type of, of boho rainbow with the bow and then different pumpkins. So you get a lot of variety. Let me see. What am I going to do? Okay. 
So I'm going to use, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to recreate my own little uh, bundle here. Um, I could use this, but there's so many different little pumpkins and gourds in the kit, and I'm going to make myself my own scene on this side of my sunflower that I painted. And again, you don't have to use what I did. Um, I just, I drew inspiration and I really was excited when I found that old stencil. And I just wanted to show you how really simple that stencils are to use. Very simple. Okay, so let me find some pumpkins and gourds that I want to use. I need to move my paint out of the way, stick my arm in it. Now I did print this kit on sticker paper or white mailing label um, and cut with my silhouette. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to start over here and just Begin adding my pumpkins and my other little gourds. And again, acrylic paint dries pretty quickly. I got a little heavy right here, so it's still a little damp. And this is the part that ghosted through on the other side. So I'm really not trying to press down very hard. Going to use these as um, sort of layering, if you will, to create my own little scene of pumpkins. I love the buffalo plaid, and so I think I'm going to save that for the last <laughs> because I really like that one to stand out. Don't be afraid to just use your imagination. <clears throat> and I know if you have, have watched any of my tutorials before, I, I gather a lot of my inspiration for my color scheme and the things that I use from the actual kit, obviously. Um, let's put this over here. And then I think I'm going to add a, one of these cute bows here. Let me see if I've got a bow on that third page. Okay, so I'm going to use this orange bow. Just to add to that little gourd right there. And then believe I'm going to carry this on take this blue flower because again I'm gonna accent with the blue let me see if I can get this up I bet I can't oh I did just enough okay so I'm gonna lay that leaf down there and then put my then I'm going to use this cute little truck the smaller one just to add it down here I love the old trucks I wish I could find me an old truck that I could paint and make a flower bed or something out of the back of it and put it in my front yard but my husband says no and so, <laughs> I'm, but I'm still on the hunt 
um, to look for those things. Um, so I'm going to use, there's some hearts too in this kit. So let's use these hearts to kind of go around. Okay, so it's hanging off just a little bit, so I'm just going to, well, I haven't decided yet. I may let it still hang off and just de-stickerize the back side, um, or I might just cut it off. And then I'm going to put another heart here, making sure that I don't cover my verse. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. I don't know if I should, I'm going to use the yellow. So this is the yellow zebra mild liner, double ended. And the NIV version of this, Jeremiah 1 8 says, Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. And this is in the section of the actual call of Jeremiah from the Lord. So I am just going to highlight that verse. Now I do want to show you on the back side, a lot of people in the beginners group ask about the best highlighters. Some people say that zebra mild liners bleed through. They do not. You might have a little ghosting, and I, I pressed a little hard. There's just a little little bitty dot of ghosting, but no bleed through. Um, it is a lot. I mean, anything could bleed through if you're very heavy-handed. So, Zebra Mild Liners are my go-to highlighters. And then I am going to... am I going to use next? I have another heart that I could use. I'm going to use the washi that has the little pumpkin seam. And I'm just going to use it at the top. Let me pull this down a little bit. I'm just going to pull that all the way over and put it into the gutter of my page. Press your Bible apart and then it goes right into the gutter. It's the perfect length. That's wonderful. And then I am going to, I really want to use one of these larger rainbows because I just think they are adorable. And I like to, I like to paint boho rainbows in my Bible journaling. They're so fun. Just going to use this larger one, and I'm going to put it sort of right under the washi, and then right over my tab here. Yes just like that and then I can use the words I'm going to use the smaller words this time and again my cameo for whatever reason I have to cut the white part off of my words don't know if there's a way to calibrate that cameo or not. Uh, I think it needs to be, it needs to have a recalibration. Okay, so I can just add that here. And then I'm just going to add my words here. And I'm using, so my Bible does have the lined margins. So I was just using one of the lines to line up my my words there I'm 
So I'm going to try to figure out how to center and I'm going to use line that up right at the bottom the one I just put I got a little off but that's okay now I'm excited because I can use the remaining parts of this kit in my Bible garden <laughs> Now we've used a stencil to create our own sunflower and then parts of the kit to create our own scene elsewhere. This other heart. And then I'm going to use a couple of these other leaves. Let me see if there's some more leaves. Oh. And turn like they're falling on my page. Oh no, look what I did. <laughs> I put that leaf right over my verse because I was not paying attention. Luckily, okay, so I'm going to put that down and then I'm just going to cut that leaf using my little embroidery scissors just going to bend it up and cut it off <laughs> something I don't I don't cover my verse Whew. crisis averted <laughs> now I'm just going to use um, the crosses the larger crosses don't do it again Shallon no, I'm not. I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. Now, if you wanted to take um, your black Posca pen or your pit pen or Micron and go around these elements to pull them off, but I love the softness that it is at this moment. And so I think I'm just going to leave it as it is and, uh, of course, date your page. But I love this. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learning just how easy it is to use a stencil to create in your Bible journaling, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell turned on so that you never miss a tutorial that is released. Um, or reviews and all of the wonderful things that the channel has to offer. We don't want you to miss a thing. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Very simple, being able to use a stencil, pulling your in inspiration from the kit. And this is the kit for Jeremiah 1.8. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye!